Okay, in this video we're going to be talking about beta decay. Beta decay is a different type of nuclear reaction. In beta decay, a neutron in the nucleus will be turned into a proton and an electron. The electron is released as a beta particle, and the proton stays in the nucleus. Now, why does this happen? A neutron can be thought of as a proton and electron in the purposes of beta decay. It technically is not, but for the cases of beta decay, you can consider it as an electron and a proton. So what happens is you have your neutron, and it's going to split into a proton and electron. The electron is getting released as a beta particle, and the proton stays in the nucleus. All right, so how do we write beta decay equations? So we have our original um, atom here, which has the symbol of x, uh, z as its uh, atomic number, y as its mass number. You're going to release your beta particle. A beta, a beta particle has no mass number with zero, but it actually has a minus one um, for its uh, atomic number. You need to write e because that's the symbol for beta par a beta particle, because it's an electron. And then that's going to yield um, your uh, x, another atom. Um, you're going to keep the same mass number, right? Because everything has to be balanced. If there's a 0 here, then you're going to have to have y here. But then you're going to get z plus 1 here, because z plus 1 minus 1 will equal z. OK, we're going to do an example now, so this makes a little bit more sense. So lead 2 more 4. So let's write our original atom. I'm getting 82 here because that is the atomic number for lead. That's going to release our beta particle. Okay. And then our new atom is going to have the same mass number, so that's 214. But then we have to do 82 plus 1 to balance the minus 1 here. It's going to have an atomic number of 83. And 83, the symbol for that is bismuth. 